Hi, my name is Bill Purdy. I'm a Los Angeles-based singer-songwriter. I play the piano, and I would describe my music as a combination of pop with uh, influences of blues, soul, um, reggae, and classic rock. I grew up playing the piano since I was a child. Around age eight, I started taking lessons, and um, some of my first uh, musical memories, my father was a banjo player, so as a child, I grew up hearing my dad play the banjo. Um, he's from Tennessee. It was country music, bluegrass music, like uh, Earl and Scruggs and stuff like that. So I started out taking uh, piano lessons, learning your typical pop piano. And around eighth grade, when I was around 14 years old, I, uh, I learned the song Bad Bad Leroy Brown by Jim Croce. And that was my real introduction to actually uh, a bluesy kind of song. And I fell in love with it. And Croce is still one of my favorite artists today and an influence on my music. Um, here in Los Angeles, I, I play my music, both solo and with um, a seven-piece band. And I've played in LA for a few years, playing in blues bands, um, reggae bands, and Latin bands as well. Along with, with uh, Jim Croce, I fell in love with Van Morrison. And um, he was a big influence on me when I was younger. And some of my uh, music still has like a, a Van Morrison-like feel. I love how he combined blues and jazz, country music, and, and soul into, into his own thing. When I was a kid, I went with my younger brother to see B.B. King in Minneapolis. And uh, I was probably in around eighth or ninth grade, and I didn't even know who B.B. King was. I just knew he was the king of the blues, and I fell in love with the sound of his guitar. And I remember the Hammond organ the guy playing the Hammond organ, and for years I just wanted to be that guy. I wanted to play Hammond organ behind B.B. King, and I still do, but I've become a singer-songwriter. Uh, oftentimes when I write a tune, it's, it's at home or independently, and there's always a, a certain amount of self-doubt about if this tune is successful, and you never really know until you play to an audience. It can be just a small coffee shop of 10 people, but there's an energy that happens between you and the audience, and that's when you know whether this tune um, really worked or if it, it, you were able to really build a connection with your audience. And um, that's usually when I find out is the, the first few times I performed the tune. Move My Way is my first solo project. I've played on um, many other projects as a sideman and, and played a lot of blues. Um, reggae and, and Latin music and pop and rock and roll, but this was um, one of my first chances to really work on my songs. Carnival came from years of uh, traveling to uh, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and the Spanish Caribbean. I was fascinated by the, the music that comes from that part of the world. So I went down there and traveled with friends and traveled by myself. And on one of the trips, I was on a bus and just just in front of me on the road was a couple running across the road towards the beach and the girl was clearly Dominican and the guy was probably Canadian or European, it didn't matter. They were a young couple holding hands with huge smiles on their faces and it was bittersweet to me because I knew he's going to be going back within, within days. She'll probably never leave or it's unlikely she'll leave and from the moment they met there's this clock ticking on the relationship and from it intensifies everything and I had been there myself and the relationship was was ending as soon as it had started right in front of right in front of my face and that when I came home I wrote the song Carnival and that that was the inspiration for that tune. The second ballad that I did is called My Kind of Blues. It's probably one of my most personal songs I've written. My Kind of Blues came from initially I thought it was a, a a feeling of sadness looking back on a, a lost relationship, but really it's actually um, more romantic ultimately because it's about when the relationship's over and all you have is just the feeling of missing that person and you're holding on to that because pretty soon eventually even that will be gone. So My Kind of Blues is really about holding on to the, that last vestige of the relationship which is the, the pain of the lost love. So my, so my EP Moved My Way I put out a few months ago and it's had uh, college radio airplay on about 150 stations around the country and two of the songs that are on the EP are Carnival 
and my kind of blues. Thank you.